I love speedrunning. Or to be more precise, I love watching speedruns. Seeing other people excel at a video game, knowing all the glitches and shortcuts is just really interesting to me. But while making my video about the fake speedruns of God Zombies, I started to wonder, could I ever have a world record? Will I ever be among the famed stars of speedrunning? Absolutely not. The amount of time and dedication it takes to even reach the top 10 is just ridiculous, let alone first place. And I'm also very lazy. But I think I found a solution. You see, not every God Zombie speedrun is reaching the highest round or beating the Easter egg as fast as possible. Where we belong is the category extension or the community leaderboards as it's known on Zombie World Records. A special place for all sorts of smaller speedruns like backup punching as fast as possible, shower only, something I wish more zombie players would do, or spider speedrun. Now all of these sound really fun, but I still feel like we're missing a few categories that will make a lot of players very happy. Thankfully, I found some speedruns that I think would make great additions to the extended speedrun categories of God Zombies. However, we still need to set some rules. The speedrun has to be relatively short and weird, in a good way of course, and there must be a video of someone else having done the speedrun. And it can't be in any of the categories on speedrunning websites yet, because if enough of us speedrun these, maybe one day they'll make it into the God Zombies extended categories. So without further ado, Let's beat the weirdest speedruns in Cod Zombies. Starting off with the speedrun that actually inspired this video in the first place. I don't think I've ever said this before, but Spaceland is my favorite zombie map of all time. And getting to do a speedrun on this map is just a dream come true. Now this speedrun by Damn Dame involves you spawning in and getting quick revive, or up in atoms as it's called in Infinite Warfare Zombies, then dying as fast as possible by, in this case, your grenade, respawning from the afterlife arcade and receiving your items back from lost and found. In case you don't know, in Infinite Warfare for zombies you can get all your stuff back after dying excluding your perks from this booth at the beginning of the map and he finishes with a time of 1875 now this one was a lot of fun to try for and the real difficulty came from getting the perfect timing on getting your grenade out after getting the up and atoms and especially getting a good spawn in the afterlife you can actually spawn to the side which makes it obviously take longer to respawn and last but not least getting your items back is something you can actually miss but after a lot of restarting I finally got a good run of 17.94 seconds. Congratulations! You've clinched the nomination for This is probably the silliest speedrun I've seen so far, but on the map Shangri-La there are these monkeys that just sit around a bit in the beginning, and your goal is to as you might guess, shoot the monkey. The YouTuber Haggy Mule made the video Zombies Monkey Kill Speedrun epic, epic Record Time, which I have to admit is indeed very epic and a record time, but I think I can actually beat it. Also, I think I can speak for Haggy Mule and myself that we do not condone animal violence unless it's for a speedrun in a video game. Now, for some reason, he was playing with someone else who seems to be there to just also shoot the monkey repeatedly. You only have to shoot the monkey once, so I'm just guessing they had some unfinished business with that monkey. And I don't think there have to be two players, but just to be sure, I loaded up split screen and decided to just put the second controller on the floor and play with my feet. In case you're wondering if I'm doing this because I have no friends, the answer is no. Yes. Now I did time their run, which was 4.11 seconds. The problem with this run is the monkeys sometimes just won't spawn. Yeah. No monkey, great, thanks game. But after enough restarts, I actually got a monkey to spawn. And with a well-aimed shot, I got a time of 1.33 seconds. And as you can see, my feet were very happy as well. One million dollars. We continue our speedrunning journey in Black Ops 2 on Die Rise. I know most people don't like this map, but it's strangely nostalgic to me. 
In the run by Blazer Blue, he spawns in, goes into the elevator, jumps before hitting the bottom to not get stunned too much and races his way to the bank, that are in the showers on Die Rise. The timer stops as soon as you take out money from the bank. Simple as that. I didn't have any money in the bank yet, so a bit of grinding later I could actually start my runs. And this one, like many speedruns, is very spawn dependent. So most runs actually end as soon as you spawn, depending on how far away you are from the elevator. But thankfully I spawned close enough that it doesn't really matter too much time wise, and actually managed to beat the record. Also a quick pro tip, set your interact key to your mouse wheel, so that you can basically press it every frame by just scrolling up and down as soon as you're in the shower. Now, since we're racing to the bank, I thought why not just name this bank percentage. And the best part is, in Blazer Blue's video showcasing this run, he also did it for Transit and Buried. So bank percentage is actually available for three maps already. Continuing on with World at War, Knocked There and Toten, this speedrun is by Jenko and involves you running up the stairs, jumping on this ledge and quickly jumping again, resulting in you hitting your head and dying. His run was actually pretty solid by putting down a time of 4.44 seconds. I don't know why this glitch is in Knocked, but it actually seems like a pretty fun speedrun. It took me quite a few tries to get the run down, but after a while you just know where to stand and when to jump. You have to do this weird double jump on the ledge and if you don't do it fast enough, you just slip off and with enough practice I managed to get this run. I did get kind of stuck on the rating but I'm still quite happy with a 4.04 seconds. Now I thought I was pretty much done with this one until I found the exact same run done by Lynx, but this time in the Black Ops 1 version of Noct. Yeah, the exact same glitch that was in World at War was in Black Ops 1 as well. I also should mention that I didn't have the DLC, so please keep in mind that I spent 14 bucks for the riveting gameplay you're about to see. I feel my life slipping away! Money well spent. Lynx actually called the video death percentage and I think that is a very fitting name for this category. Die as fast as possible on a map. Which brings us very smoothly to our next run. Lava Land. Or as some know it, Town. Now for those of you with a keen eye, you may have spotted this gigantic pool of lava in the middle. Thanks to the YouTuber LMitchell89, we now have a speedrun here as well, called Death by Lava. As he points out in the video, this speedrun's timer starts when the screen fades in and ends when you lose points by dying, resulting in him getting a 5.83. Now by pure luck, I got this on my first try, and the reason for this is simply where you spawn. There are a few points around this lava pool that you can spawn, and this is the closest one as far as I know. So literally just hold forward and that's pretty much it. Resulting in me getting a run of 5.23 seconds. And our last death percentage is on none other than Buried. And this was by far the shortest run I've ever done. And I honestly at first thought this one was just unbeatable. This run by Colin the White really seemed like he had this perfect spawn with a time of 1.24 seconds. So I just went for another speedrunning category in Buried when I happened to get this spawn. Yeah, much faster. And when I say much faster, I mean 0.15 seconds faster. But hey, a record is a record. <laughs> Meme school. And last but not least, we have a run by the Blazer Blue again, on the Black Ops 3 version of Moon. In this run, your objective is pretty straightforward. Get the Bowie knife. However, I wish I knew the troubles that were in store for me. You start off in No Man's Land, where you try to get as many points as possible before jumping into the teleporter. You basically knife the zombies until you hear a buzzer that makes them all much faster and also take more than one knife hit. After getting to about 4000 points, you hop into the teleporter, grab the L car and make your way to the Bowie knife area. So far so good, until you actually try to grab it. I tried and I tried and I tried over and over and over again. Even practicing in between runs just to get the prompt on my screen for a split second. This continued on for the entire day until I simply gave up.
That was until I realized the physics in Black Ops 3 were coded in one night by two monkeys and discovered that your jump height in Moon is linked to your frames per second. What do you mean you're playing Moon in 144 FPS? Try 60. All of my pain and suffering was linked to a problem Cut Zombies has had forever. After taking a well-deserved spa day to distress, I finally managed to actually finish a run and got a new record with a time of 5 minutes and 3.86 seconds. Which could have been a lot faster if it wasn't for this guy just floating in the air for no reason and me not being able to find him for almost a minute. Now, of course, I can't end this video without adding a speedrun of my own. And I think we'll call this one jump scare percentage. Basically, on multiple cut zombies maps, there are jump scares. And the first cut zombie jump scare ever is on Mob of the Dead. The run is as follows. You get a sniper, make your way to the roof of Alcatraz and look at the fireworks to trigger the jump scare. Fun fact, Mob of the Dead takes place during New Year's Eve, hence the fireworks. Another fun fact, I got a time of 4 minutes and 15.70 seconds. Let's see if you can beat that and of course post a video of it on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my videos then please subscribe and leave a like. This video was obviously a bit different than what I usually make but I really wanted to try out something a bit different and I'm just very curious about what you guys think about it. All of the runs I did will be on my new second channel Lampo Fraud and a playlist will be in the description. And most importantly all the runners mentioned in this video will be in the description. This video would literally be impossible without them so please go check them out and show them some support. I also want to thank everybody for the support on the last video. After not posting for a year, it was a very warm welcome back. I will see you all very, very soon in a new zombies video. But for now, bye bye.